Hello all, thank you for all your questions for my 200 subscriber you and a So, should we start with the questions I guess? Zero, what is your favourite horror film and how scary did you find it on initial viewing? This is so difficult, I really don't know. Um, like the first horror film I properly ever saw was this one, Mothman Prophecy. Mothman Prophecies. The Mothman Prophecies. And when I saw this when I was younger, it was scary because I was a kid when I watched this. But, um, yeah, so I quite like that one because it's like my first horror movie I've ever watched. Um, I wouldn't class this one quite as so much horror. I mean, it's like an indie horror, I guess. I like Donnie Darko. Donnie Darko is good. Or if you want a hilarious, hilarious film to watch, go on Netflix and watch the ABCs of Death. It's hilarious. Somebody dies from a fart. It's a letter, a death for every letter of the alphabet by 26 different directors. Some are Japanese. So you can guess, some are weird. Like X is like XXL and the woman shaves all the fat off of the body with like a meat saw. And yeah. Gets in the shower and just goes. <laughs> Beautiful, it's beautiful. I should show that one to everyone. Like, you've, have you seen ABCs of Death? And then he'd regret ever talking to me. Yay! Brianna, hello, Brianna. My questions What inspires you to be a YouTuber and your favourite part of being a YouTuber? Oh, I don't know how I started it. I was, when I first, first started out, shut up, watch. I watched um, Mika Kitty and Nana Lou, nothing to do with gaming, and they were making videos that were really pretty. It sounds weird, but they're like making funny music videos, and then they're making pretty music videos. And the first one I saw from them was them doing a skit. I not even a skit. They were doing Sale um, by AWOL Nation. I'll link it down there in the description below. But then I started making videos a bit like that. Um, so that's what started me being a YouTuber. My favourite part of being a YouTuber... Uh, I just like making people laugh. If I get like a funny like, fun response or comments or when you see likes or... Yeah, I particularly like with the silly games like Super Cat Herd and stuff. I'll get stressed or be really stupid. But have fun in doing it at the same time and like get be able to share my enjoyment and when I look back and see how ridiculous my own like facial expressions and responses to certain aspects of games are that's pretty fun. What initially inspired you to start a gaming channel? What initially inspired you to start a gaming channel? Foxy Candy. Um, I know this one. I know this one. I just can't think what it is. <laughs> I think like, the first gaming videos I had started watching was um, something that was Minx D Live, PewDiePie, someone else doing um, TTT, no, Prop Hunt, it was Prop Hunt. From there I then watched, started watching Minx and D Live and etc. etc. Um, and what was my, actually my first ever video? Right, my first videos I started making, I did um, Hotline Miami. But I complete the game so I started playing it over again but I thought I was like really good at doing it <laughs> like oh yeah check out what I can do my skills um, then it went to rust and um, because there was me and a group of admins that had this rust server we got to do things that people couldn't usually do so we'd have a laugh and like teleport ourselves all over the map and just do stupid stuff and the conversations were bizarre so that's where I started with my gaming channel. <laughs> oh I've got a cold, ignore me. Favourite food pizza. <laughs> Sorry Gamba. <laughs> Fire and Kigamba. Favourite food pizza. Any pets? I have fish. And yeah, one died the other day and he was called Hitler and he had a little tash and a monocle and a little bit of hair and beautiful. Uh, what's your PC setup? PC setup. I have like the worst PC setup ever. Um, I'll show you on this. Oh, oh, what you're seeing now is going to be on a different thing. Right. Do, do, do. So literally, I just have a Lenovo laptop. 
I use a HD Microsoft cam that's got the mic inbuilt as well. I have my razors and I have a Technic mouse but I always lose my mouse, I can never find my mouse. I have a really boring PC setup. Um, yeah, it's not that. I also, to actually film, I use Camtasia because then I can do the face cam and the screen cam. And then I do a little bit of editing on Camtasia, then move it all into Premiere Pro and do all the nice editing, renderings, effects, blah de blah, uh, all on Premiere Pro. Really easy setup. I'm getting a new mic, cam, blah de blah de blah, as and when I can. What do? Favourite board game? Favourite board game? There's no board game. I like Cards Against Humanity. Well, that's why I play Charades Against Humanity as well. Uh, if you haven't seen those videos, check out the playlist. Charades Against Humanity is hilarious. Acting those cards out which shouldn't be done. And thank you for loving my new picture. Delta! What's your favourite colour and favourite games? Delta, Delta, Delta. I like purple. Purple's a good, solid colour. Purple. It's a good colour. Favourite games? Oh, wow, wow, wow. Um, if you're going to like old style games, like from the PS1, Tomba. Tomba was an amazing game. I'm trying to get an emulator working on here so I can play it. Oh, whether that happens is another thing. Um, Horror wise, I really like Never Ending Nightmares. I wish it was a little bit longer. Does a game coming out eventually, I say eventually because I don't know actually when the end date is, um, Frambo, I really love the demo of that game, I really want to play the game, like if you don't understand, I want to play the game. Yeah, Frambo is a good game. Uh, the first game I actually ever got was Gary's Mod because I'd watched the prop hunt games and yeah, so you gotta love Gary's Mod, you can do so many things on it, it's all good, mainly and you get to troll people. Ten year olds, me and Tom trolling back, going, you what mate? Uh yeah. I'll probably like regret these choices after and be like, I got the wrong thing. I said the wrong thing. Whoa, Nicholas. That's a lot of uh you have got a little bit nuts. Okay. Favourite type of shark? Well shark. Hence the picture. Favourite place you ever travelled to? I was going to say Goa because that was really hard. It was like two weeks and I ended up a different colour altogether. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? Maldives because I want to go diving with whale sharks and I want to go diving with manta rays as well. If really I've answered that one. Favourite song, band, music genre? Oh God, don't do this to me. I'm a musician. My tastes are wild. Um, Favourite. Oh, I'm going to have to put my Spotify up. This is too difficult. Too difficult. Too difficult. Why did you do this, Nicholas? Favourite song, band, music genre. I guess my overall favourite band is Biffy Clyro. Favourite song, well, it changes all the time. Favourite song, Minute, is probably Astronauts by Cast of Lions. I quite like that song. Favourite genre. Oh, I like synth rock. It's not right, I know, it's, it's a bit bizarre. I like synth rock. In 10 years, what are the most important things you want to have achieved? Oh, these questions are too difficult, Nicholas. Why? Uh, happiness. No, figure that one out. Um, sing your single, biggest single regret of your life. Oh, this is going too deep. Um, letting myself be controlled by someone and therefore losing everyone else around me. And when you were a child, what did you want to be when you grew up? I wanted to be a kids TV presenter when I grew up. A kids TV presenter. I was um, on kids TV for a little bit and because I'd won a competition to interview Christina Milian 
and uh, yeah, I was on kids' TV and I kept calling me back doing like phone interviews with celebrities and stuff. So from then, I wanted to be a kids' TV presenter. But I used to pretend all the time that I was on camera. And that's probably why I do these videos and things now, if you think about it. I was just about to edit the video and I've got one final question in, literally as I was going to edit it. From Miana Lou. Congratulations, do you have any tattoos or piercings? If so, show them. Um, I don't have any tattoos, but I've got seven piercings. All in my ears, so... I don't know if I can make this clear. Can I make it clear? There we go. So I've got this one stretched, this is a ten. I've got a piercing there. I've got this piercing here. I've got that piercing there. And on this side of my face, I've got that one up there and two there or seven and go to okay well i hope you guys learned a little bit more about me uh thank you for all your weird and wonderful questions actually they're not particularly weird thank you for your difficult questions nicholas Bredsell. and um, yeah hopefully you learned a little bit more about the shark behind the face what face behind it. Shut up! Shut up! Don't text me! I'm very confused. Yeah, words. Words just... So until next time, see you on Lovely Face in another video. Goodbye! Oh, oh.